like just an old saying education frees you um, it frees you of just you know um, uh, feeling that you cannot be prepared for something so as long as you always feel prepared um, you can pretty much do people always say you could do whatever you want to do but I think education prepares you for that freedom to do whatever you want to do is when you complete it uh, so if you I mean when I say complete it I mean um, complete the journey. If, if, if the program is four years and you have completed it and you feel like you have learned enough. I, I Listen, I, I've been in school for a long time and I remember um, I had a dance class at Alvin Ailey at 8 in the morning and I hated the class. It was like kinesthetic movement. and I mean, like we were like a golf ball rolling it around. And I really hated this class. But, so a couple of times I didn't go. And I got a C and the C in graduate school is failing. So I had to go before the board and explain the C and why they should let me in. So the, the question was, is why should we let you back in to graduate with people who showed up to that class and, 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 and whether they liked it or not, they passed. So what makes you think that you should be on the same level as those students? So you have to complete the task. And if you're gonna in, involve yourself in education in terms of graduate school or higher education and you're paying for it, you have to get what you pay for. Because right now, you know, you're paying back student loans for classes you don't even remember. I think that some of, some, maybe perhaps some reasons students are dropping out of high school is because they want instant success. They see something on TV and they just want it. They don't know the work it took before you got there. And a prime example of this, uh, my mentor, Dr. Mark G. Henderson, called me one day and said, we, we have about three or four new majors in the department because they want to pursue your footsteps. And I'm like, put them on the phone with me right now. I don't want anyone changing their major to acting because they see me on TV. They don't know the years that I cried. They don't know the years that I had to, the little money I had to manage. They don't know what it was like to feel like I was not going to succeed as an actor. They don't know any of that. They just see this product, but they don't know what it took to finally get there. So people have to be really sure about what they want to do, not because someone else did it. Hey, this is Tara from Love and Hip Hop, and you are watching Young Faces Smiling.